Hey everyone, out here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. So today I'm uh, gonna do a little mod to my engine here. I got this Russian poly um, foot. Now I'm gonna install it here, removing the stock one. And I'm also gonna install a stainless steel impeller. So I'll take the aluminum impeller out. I've only ran this boat once, so I'm thinking this wear liner should be fine. I'll check it when I take it out and then I'm just gonna install this, make sure it's shim properly. But the clearance between the wear liner and the impeller should be 130 seconds or 32 thousandths of an inch. I have feeler gauges, so uh, without further ado, I'm gonna now remove the foot. So I'm gonna need a, another thing I have to do is once I get this off, I have to take these studs out and replace them with the longer studs. Now I've talked to two different people and they said, they're, one said they're easy to come out, the other one said they can be a, a real pain in the butt to get out. So uh, I'm just gonna try to double nut them and remove them. One guy said just use a, a vice grip, so I'd like to kind of save them. And uh, so let's see how that goes. Okay, I got one of these out already and it came out pretty easy. Just double nut it. Tighten them up. Snug them right up good. And try to get them so that they're, the flats are even. So I can get a deep socket over both. So I have to put a little more muscle into it, I think. There we go, and it's coming out just like that. Now when I put these new ones in, I'm gonna put a little uh, copper coat. Looks like they did have some sort of thread locker on here. I can smell it. They actually had red Loctite in there. So I'll just put that in there. There we go. That's number two out. I'll just take this out and I'll compare the new ones that are gonna go in, how much longer they are. So uh, you can see they're only about a quarter inch longer, maybe a little more, and they're just gonna go in here. And uh, then I'll have enough room to put on this Russian foot. So I'm just gonna keep removing these they're coming off real nice. But yeah, there's definitely, I'll, I'll, I think I'll run a thread chaser through there just because there is thread locker in there. Okay, everyone, this is a step I probably don't have to take, but I'm gonna, just since there was already some pre-existing Loctite in there, I'm just gonna run a thread chaser through. And then I blow it out with just some canned air Probably a step I don't have to take, but uh, as you can see, there is a bunch of stuff coming off this. And of course I dropped it and it all fell off. So I just take uh, and I'm gonna do all six of these. Hopefully I'll be able to take this thing out tomorrow and try it out. Okay, so then I'll blow that out. And since, yes, for sure there was Loctite on these, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on these and then cinch them down with the double nut method. I'm gonna do the other four and then I'm gonna, I'll show you installing one of these. Okay, installing these, I am using uh, Loctite um, 242 and I'm putting it on the threads. I'm pretty sure they use red Loctite. And I just start it, screw it in. 
far as I can with my hands. Double nut it. I don't want to tighten this too tight, but I'm also worried that if I don't do it tight enough, when I go to take the nut off to remove the foot for future adjustments, the stud will come out. I mean, I don't want to go too tight. Hopefully the Loctite will, well, not hopefully, but I know the, the Loctite will hold it. And I'll just remove the nuts and this will be number three done. Then I'll continue on uh, with the next three. This is a uh, medium strength Loctite, the blue. It's not permanent. Permanent scares me, because that means forever, right? I guess if I had to, I could always heat it up to get it out, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, once the stuff cures, I believe Loctite needs no oxygen to cure. So once that in, inside the threads, There'll be no more oxygen, and it should cure. I think that's why those nylon nuts that were on here weren't on very tight. Okay, so you didn't see that I just dropped a wrench, but uh, I'm going to continue finishing these both these other two. Okay, guys, these are all installed and Loctited in. So now I'm going to remove the, and that wasn't tight at all. That was so, so just for reference, when I go to put it back on, it was right about, it was there. That is not tight at all. So that's good. nut the key washer and then you got the piece here that captures everything and you have a poly it's like a rubber almost like an o-ring then i have two four six eight shims so i'm going to keep this in the same pack as it as I took it off and just set it over here on my truck that I never drive. Okay now this here should just pop out I guess. Ah there we go. And on the inside I just got the key and that sleeve and look at that there's still water in there. Okay and it uh, doesn't look like there's any washers up against the shaft at all. So I'm going to get the other impeller here. Here's the old one. And the, and the key, keyway here. It just slides in like that around the shaft on that side. So when I go to put it back on, It's just going to go on like that. And then this key is going to fit right in there like that. On like that. And then the uh, shims and exactly the way I had it before. Okay, let's have a look at the new one here. There we go. And inside here, I've got my key. Well, let's compare these two. 
I got the same one too. That must be for balancing it, eh? These holes in there. But they look exactly the same. Okay, let's uh, install this guy. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the sleeve and the key out. I'm gonna give you two keys. An extra one, I guess. Only one sleeve though, why don't they give you an extra sleeve? Okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of grease and I'm gonna put some grease on these parts here. Looks like there already is some, but uh, we'll put more on. Okay, and I'm gonna use the same grease that I used to uh, grease my uh, shaft with Yamaha grease. There we go. That should be plenty. So just put a little bit on here. And probably a little bit on here as well. So you want to place this in lined up with the keyway right there. Let me get some grease off my fingers here. And I'm just gonna attempt to. This might be easier like this, eh? And yes, it was easier. Okay, so there's that. Now let's put the key in on the flat. Okay, don't slide off now. Everything as it was. <laughs> I was looking for that rubber thing and it's already already on there. I noticed that it's almost exactly where it was before. Let's just check the shimming here. I measured this card. I measured this card. It's exactly 31 and a half thou, I believe. I'm just going to check in between. I want to say it's as tight as what it was. Here's a 30 second thou. And that's exactly, I measured the old one coming off. And that's about what it was. So what I'm gonna do, a little trick I've seen, I'm gonna cut this into like four pieces and put it under each one of the fins here, blades, and then uh, I'll put the shoe back on. So I'm gonna go cut this. Okay, now I'm just gonna tighten this to the next flat, which is right there. Not very tight at all. And then I'll just uh, bend them over. Uh, might be easier with the screwdriver I had. And I don't know where I put it. There we go, that worked. Okay, now I'm gonna Do what I did before, except 
day. I'll grab all my nuts. Okay, so I got these four cards. Or three cards. Three fins, three cards. That's gonna make it so that, fold that up, keep this thing where it should be nice and centered. Now the fun part's gonna be to get this on with, oh, losing all those. Okay, there we go. Now I can put the nuts on. Now these you don't want very, they're snug. I can still turn them if I want to, but I'll probably just be compressing the UHMW. Now, it was, uh, seems to be tight on the liner. I had to use a mallet to kind of tighten it in to get it to go all the way in, seat inside. It's a tight fit, so that could be a good thing. So uh, let's lower this and see how it looks. One thing I don't like about these studs is they're not stainless steel. That does not impress me much, but like I said, here's the old liner. And here's the old foot, which I only used once and already using it once. Look at <laughs> the uh, powder coating's coming off. Let's lower the engine and just see where it, where it sits on the bottom. Now, now I am actually touching, when I go to turn, I am touching the bottom of my boat, which I do not like. The other one went right underneath this. Now if I go, I'm actually hitting it right on. Okay everyone, it's the morning now. So just on the last little note of what I had yesterday, this was hitting right here, and you can see it was actually leaving marks, but now I lowered the motor to the lowest notch, you can see it was on the second, and uh, that made it so that I have a, when I turn it, I got like a quarter inch of clearance. So, with that, I got the boat all secured, and I got the Jeep ready, and just getting some snacks and lunch together, and uh, I'm going to be heading out onto the lake, try this one more time. This should be the last, uh, Hopefully the break in, maybe tomorrow I'll hit a river. I'm really want to hit a river bad. So uh, stay tuned everybody. And like I said before, thanks for watching and subscribing. Leave a comment below if you want a giveaway because I'm thinking on giving away one of those uh, MGT uh, uh, ground pods. I got one with an uh, Arca rail setup that I don't use. Brand new in the box. The one I did a review on a few, probably about a year ago, maybe a little less. So uh, comment, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do that, uh, that giveaway. Thanks, everybody. Take care.